know, it's very difficult to know <laughs> to know what to talk about because the side is doing so well. And it seems like every interview that I do with players and with the head coach, Liam Manning, it's just literally singing the praises of the football that's being played, the results that are coming and the possibilities for this season. Um, so I will start by play, saying, you know, one defeat in 16. There are lots of other stats I could say, but one defeat in 16. The form is incredible. The team are playing well. How much are you enjoying it? Massively enjoying it. I mean, like you said, like it's, there's a real feel-good factor around the place. Uh, I think everyone knows how well we're doing and no one's getting carried away. But of course, that's why we're playing, to win. So everyone's really enjoying it. And uh, some of the football we're playing as well, it's just great to be playing as well. So enjoyable on every level at the moment, really. Uh, part of the um, part of the build-up to the goals again on on Saturday, um, some of that passing is just getting it seems to be getting better and better throughout the side as the season goes on. Yeah, I think obviously we're a young team and I think we're just developing as individuals but also as a team and some of the different sort of rotations and movements that we're coming up with and how to maybe play against different styles of teams. I think we're just sort of as a team understanding our roles a bit more and, and that's then leading individuals to be able to show their passing range and other stuff off off better than before so um, I'd say that's it really just the team knowing what they need to do to really helps One of the conversations I had with Liam Manning earlier in the season was talking about um, giving you the players tools on the, the tools on the pitch to go and do what you do and then obviously for you to interpret it yourselves as individuals as, as a team as well do, do you feel that that's happening more and more on the pitch decisions are being made almost without Liam Manning uh, having to intervene yeah, I think he gives us a real sort of ownership of what we're doing and a real uh, license to express ourselves. And obviously, we all want to play a certain way, so we're obviously thinking to play that sort of way. So we're all on the same page, and and he's allowing us to express ourselves within the within the format. And um, yeah, nice no, going really well. Um, I know the company line is one game at a time, and I understand why the company line is one game at a time. Let don't get ahead of yourself. That must be very, very hard for everyone involved, from from Liam, the coaching staff, and the players, not to start having conversations about promotion to the championship. It must be almost impossible. Yeah, I mean, of course, everyone knows sort of where we are, and everyone's got that bit of excitement about us. But I think. What we've done well is it, it has been one game at a time. So I think everyone's almost a bit scared to come away from that because it's been going so well. So I think it's it's kept us on the straight and narrow and it really helps you focus for the next one and not look too far ahead, don't overlook anyone and it seems to be working. So whilst it's like that, I think we'll carry on. Six games now, six games. It's come round very, very quickly, hasn't it, this uh, tail end of this season. Six games to go, one final push towards the end of this season. Yeah, no, it's come, obviously, I've only been here since January, but it seems to have flown by, and um, I think that probably happens when you're winning and when you're playing well. It's, um, it's maybe a bit different when things aren't going so well, but it's really flown by, and as you said, we've got six games that we'll take one at a time and uh, and just keep really pushing for each of them and, yeah, and see what we can achieve. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are you surprised at how quickly you you adapted to the way MK Dons play? Because it's you know it's not it's not an easy style to, to settle into, but you you've taken to it with with such ease by the looks of it. No, thank you. Um, maybe a little bit. I mean, it's uh, I've always been someone who loves to watch the the teams that play this sort of way, like the you know the top teams that try and play through the thirds, and it's something I've always enjoyed as a fan, and so I've always really wanted to play. So I sort of knew I had the ability and the the tools to do it sort of thing but of course to come in and just I feel like I fit in pretty quickly has been um, yeah it's been great I mean it's, it's such a competitive midfield in there as well isn't it with, with so many options and um, you, you keeping your place that must be a huge boost you know for, for your morale knowing that, that you're in there every week yeah there's some real top players not in midfield everywhere in the team I think there's real competition everywhere and it's, it's great to see I think it's a great sign of, of the squad is that players can come out and be changed and, and the level stays the same and I mean obviously I get to see training every day and some of the levels in training is just is just top so I think that's a real strength for the squad as well is the competitiveness and also how we are together no one's you know wanting anyone else to not do so well everyone's really on the same page pulling in the same direction. I get a lot of West Ham fans asking me how you're getting on and um, they're, they're desperate for you to, um, for, to you know obviously do well uh, at MK Dons, um, I suppose it's a massive turnaround given the way the season started for you. You know, slightly uh, slightly struggling for 
uh, opportunities to play at, at Peterborough. It's, it's amazing how quickly the season can turn around for for you know not just teams but for individual players as well. Yeah, of course. I mean, the two different halves of my season are, are very contrasting, and um, yeah, things happen in football and in life. And for me, you can just take it. I think I'm a much stronger person more than anything now after maybe being at a place where my opportunities were limited and um, it makes me really feel more grateful for every opportunity I get now yeah. and yeah it just makes me really want to take every game as if it's my last sort of thing and um, I think this, I've learned a lot from that and I'm, I'm really happy here and playing and yeah. And I stood for you in, in Ireland's under 21s uh, last week it sounds like um, from from what I was reading that you you certainly performed particularly well. How enjoyable was that, uh, was that trip last week? Yeah, very enjoyable. I think the nature of the group we have there is that everyone wants to be together all the time, and it's a really close group. and um, And the result, I think, was sort of showed that it was under a lot of pressure out there, and we all stuck stuck together and and you know stuck to the game plan and, and got the three points. So no, I really enjoyed it and. Um, Hopefully we can push on into the summer and, and hopefully qualify for the Euros.